Hello everybody! Time really flies by and we are already at the last video for 2021. That's actually pretty crazy. It feels like I just created this channel yesterday, but it's been like four months. Uh, it's been six months and one day. You know that, right? What the f In all seriousness, though, it does not feel like I created this channel half a year ago. That's downright unbelievable. But I'm of course thankful for every one of you. You really motivate me to continue this project and make new content every week. But enough of that. What are we going to do today? Well, I was in the mood for some more spooky fake mon and I thought about some creatures that are associated with that time of the year here in Germany. And to me it was very obvious what I wanted to use as an inspiration. The Krampus. If you know the name, it's probably from the one movie. I didn't watch it, but I know it's there. So apparently Krampus is kind of like the demonic counterpart of St. Nicholas. While St. Nicholas brings gifts to the well-behaved children, Krampus punishes the not-so-well-behaved ones. Coincidentally, not so coincidentally, Krampus Day is on December 5th and the day of St. Nicholas on December 6th. There is this tradition called Krampuslaufen, which roughly translates to Krampus walking, I guess. It's a grand parade where people dress up as Krampus and walk around the streets making a lot of noise with, for example, bells and try to scare other people. These can be found in southern Bavaria and the Oberpfalz. I have no idea what Oberpfalz is called in English. But also beyond Germany, Austria, Hungary and Italy, just to name a few. And usually there isn't only one Krampus, but a bunch of them. They are also getting accompanied by other nightmarish creatures. I've personally never seen an event like that. It does sound cool, but I think I'm too easily scared. Like, not that I would be actually scared of them, but if someone tries a jump scare on me, they're gonna succeed no matter what. Even if I know they're coming, I'm still gonna flinch. But back to the design. Design-wise, Krampus shares some similarities with the devil and a bunch of other demonic creatures. Usually the costumes feature a goat or a sheep coat, which I hinted at in my design. My main focus of the design, however, were these cool-looking wood masks. The design was of course inspired by the various Krampus masks, but also a fan-made Dragon Priest mask for Skyrim that I drew like a year ago. Still pretty proud how the gold turned out, but the mask itself looks way too flat. They are also often wearing cowbells, which is something you don't see in this stage, but it will be more apparent in the evolution. I did not incorporate a tail and a few other elements that are usually present, because I didn't want to overcomplicate the design. So, here it is, Crampy Troll. The name is a fusion of Krampus and Patrol. However, I put in an eye to make it sound more cute. It is covered in multiple layers of fur and seems to glide over the ground effortlessly. My favorite part of the design are actually the eyes. Um, the eyes on my fake Montanto always look pretty similar, or at least pretty often, but the simplicity of the glowing oval pupils just grew on me. And also it's a pure dark type, didn't mention that. Next to the evolution, there were three main focuses I wanted to concentrate on. First, the mask. Making it a bit more elaborate, adding new pair of horns and new patterns. Modern Krampus masks often leave the mouth and chin part uncovered, so people can stick out their tongue. While giving this fake mono tongue was not something I wanted to do, I did make the mask a bit more dynamic by adding a separate mouth part and more teeth. Second focus was the fur coat. Crampy Troll had two layers and I doubled the amount for the evolution. To differentiate between the few layers, I made each one a different color and structure. And the last focus light on the fake man itself. I don't know if you figured it out by now, but what you see is not the actual fake one. It has the whole Mimikyu thing going on, where the fake one is hiding beneath a costume. The actual fake one can be seen at the bottom of the design in the form of a bell. Remember when I said Krampus actors were bells and it would be more incorporated into the evolution? Yup, here we have that element. At the beginning I didn't have a strong concept in mind and I just added stuff as I went further. However, when I wanted to incorporate the bell, I figured it would be funny if this fake man is just a bell that rolls around having a scary costume on top. When it's moving on snow, all you can hear is a faint, deep and kinda creepy jingling sound. It also looks like they are floating above the snow, however, most trainers won't recognize the trail they actually leave behind them since they are too busy trying to escape from what they think is a demon. 
when rolling around on ground the jingling sound is higher, less creepy and way more friendly. Or mystical sounding actually. While not being violent per se, they do like to chase humans around. That can lead to them getting incredibly scared or even get hurt when falling down or even worse faint. I based this part of the behavior on something I've read on the Wikipedia page of Krampus. Apparently during these Krampus walks there are sometimes violent attacks either by the Krampus actors or by bystanders. A few particularly violent ones took place in 2013 in Eastern Tyrol, Austria, where over 60 people got hurt and 8 of them had broken bones, which is pretty crazy. Of course, that's not how all parades go on, I'm pretty sure they would be forbidden if that was the case. Oh, by the way, very important. If you have any ideas for poison type fake one for the German spook reason, please, please let me know. I just visited my decks and looked at all the entries, the already released ones and the ones that I have not released yet, and there are not a lot. And by not a lot, I mean none. There is not even one poison fake one in the German spook region. Any ideas are very welcome. They should preferably have something to do with Germany, but like, I'm taking all ideas. Any idea is very welcome. And here it is, the final fake one of 2021, Kramon. The name is a fusion of obviously Krampus, Monster, Demon and Gong. I know it's a rather dark fake one for such a festive time of the year, however I just love edgy stuff. In the last video I mentioned a village that would be placed in the more snowy and mountainous side of the Germansburg region. This line will also be found in the surrounding areas and the villagers would make an annual celebration where Kramon can chase around humans in a safe environment. This tradition led to less violent Kramong in the wild, cause they don't want to be excluded from the annual festivities. And I guess we're done. The last video of 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video and the designs I made. If you want to hear a bit about my plans for 2022, you can check out my Boreal Mind Wants to Battle video. I talked about what you can expect from 2022 from my channel. However, I forgot to mention that I maybe want to make a sketchbook tour and eventually start to redesign an old Fagemon region from like 2017 or so. Well, everyone, thank you for visiting my channel, have a nice holiday and please stay healthy. We will see each other in the new year. Maybe I'm gonna take a one week break, but I'm not sure right now. Anyways, for the last time of 2021, see you in the comments.